You're right. Enjoy that cheese. Not too bad. Awesome. Our dinner's right on time. Yeah? So it's about to happen next. We're going to make our way down the bottom here. Then I'm going to briefly explain just a little bit about our hung uh, and also how you can make your very own hungry back at home. Hungry time. Hungry for hungry. Mm, it smells good. <laughs> Only we had smell of vision. <laughs> this your dinner has been cooking for the past three hours. So in order to produce a beautiful hangi, you must first have a backyard. Because yeah? <laughs> in your backyard you will need to dig a hole or a pit, preferably about a meter wide, a meter deep, depending on how many people it is that you are catering for. Now once you've dug the hole, you then need to place a stack of wood right over the top of your pit, and on top of your stack of wood, you're going to score to a volcanic stone. That's where it gets a little bit tricky. Yeah? <laughs> you then have a burn off. You burn it for about an hour or so until the stones are red hot. Now eventually the stones will burn right down into the pit. You then need to remove the hot ash, leaving only a pit full of red hot stones. Now once you've done this once, you then take your kai or your food, you place it into baskets, meats go into one basket, vegetables go into the other. Meats go down first just if they take a little longer to cook. Your vegetables go over the top of your meats. You then cover it over with hangi sacks or hirsian sacks as you can see here. You bury that back down and you let that cook for a further two to three hours. And now ladies and gentlemen, if you follow this easy process correctly, and I do mean easy because I don't have to do anything, uh, you should come out with a meal that should look a little something just like this. Can I get a ooh? ooh. Ah. Ah. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in your honey this evening we have what we call the kumara or the sweet potatoes. Over here the knee white potatoes. Down the bottom we have karoti carrots in this bag stuffing. How about a huge round of applause for your chefs? Now, welcome inside my ancestral meeting house. Welcome inside my ancestor car. <coughs> Have a look at the beam that stretches from one end of the house to the other and repeat after me Tahu. Tahu. Excellent. Tahu with the backbone. Coming out down both sides, the heki or the rib cage. So evidently you're all sitting within the six pack of my ancestor kahu for all this evening. <laughs> we call you Modi. Modi is the life force, is the beating heart. By being inside my ancestor, you actually bring it time. So on behalf of my family and I, thank you all very, very much. And once again, kia ora. Kia ora.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, could you all repeat after me? I. I. Now, I means yes. You all enjoying yourself so far? I. Sure. I. I. <laughs> the good news is, your dinner is now green. Yay! <laughs> the bad news is, however, that means that our time to dinner has come to an end. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, would you guys like to see more? Yeah! yeah. Hi. 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 Would you like to see more? Hi. Hi. Excellent. Same time, same place, same price. Tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to leave you with this, the haka. Maybe you tried it out in the village area. This is how it's done properly. <laughs> Come on! Camera's ready, folks. After the haka, you will then make your way up to the farikai to the dining hall, where your dinner will be served. On a serious note, I do hope that you've enjoyed your time here at Thousand Bond Village, here with my family. Someday you may return. However, ladies and gentlemen, until that time, travel safely throughout our country. Look after one another. And please do not forget those two special words. Kia ora! Well, the 